here today to help you minimize frustration and keep every dollar in your pocket through year-end planning. Thank you for watching our video on year-end planning. The goal of our video is to help you become more proactive instead of reactive. Instead of asking each year, how much am I going to pay in taxes, we want to help you move to the question of, what can I do to keep more money within my business? The first step is to start early. The best time to start year on planning is October or very early November. Waiting until December 31st is just too late. The second step is to work with a professional. You're an expert in your business and you shouldn't be worried about how all these different tax changes affect you and your business. Let someone else handle that. That's what we're here for. To get started with year-end prep, you want to get your financials in order. That way you'll know exactly where you are. Hopefully you're already doing this, but if you haven't yet, it's time to start reconciling bank accounts, credit cards, and other loans and liabilities. This will help you know exactly where you are, and you can project into the end of the year. With that all done, you can start planning for the next year. Cash flow is important. You don't want to be spending money you don't have. Once you know where you are and how much money you have to spend, start thinking about what you'll be doing in the beginning of the next year. Can you prepay for some of those expenses? Are there any trainings coming up that you can pay for now? Or any professional meetings that you might have in December instead of January? That will all increase your expenses and help you reduce your tax liability. Also consider bonuses that you might pay in January or large capital expenses that you might make early in the year. If you can make those now due to cash flow, it can help you save in the long run. Finally, we'll want to look at bad debts. Is there any opportunity to write off these bad debts and lower revenue in the year? That can be really beneficial for you moving into the next year. The last thing we'll want to look at is, are there any important tax filings that we want to prepare for? Commonly, small businesses don't file Form 1099 correctly. If you can spend the time now to get those forms ready, it can save you a lot of frustration at the beginning of the year. Additionally, W-2 forms are very commonly handled by payroll providers but occasionally you'll need to provide additional information, such as employer-provided healthcare costs in certain situations. Handling that now, again, will save you frustration in the beginning of the next year. Planning for your business taxes is crucial. It's important to have conversations and a good relationship with a trusted tax advisor to help you navigate your year-round planning. It's good to review your current tax elections and any future elections that you may want to make that will affect your business structures. As state tax law changes, it's also important to review the current rules and laws in your state. There are currently programs in certain states which will allow you to prepay your taxes through a pass-through entity, thus allowing you a business tax deduction as well as a credit on your personal tax returns. For your individual tax planning, it's a good idea to look at your retirement plan contributions and any additional contributions you can make to maximize tax benefits. You can also look at your charitable givings and see if there's any way to optimize contributions or any other opportunities out there. Lastly, if you have capital gains in the current year, it might make sense to review your portfolio with your financial advisor to see if you have any underperforming assets that you can take losses against. Remember, the key is to start early and work with a professional. With a clear picture of your financial position, you can forecast forward and adjust. You want to be reviewing any tax filings to make sure that you're staying compliant, as well as business elections that you can be taking in the current or in the future years. Finally, you want to look at your individual tax returns and make sure you're preparing for any necessary deductions. Each individual and business is unique. For a more in-depth conversation, feel free to reach out to our team. At Brinker Simpson, we're here to help you every step of the way.